So TY, um, just looking back on Tuesday night, you've probably had a couple of days to stew in it, haven't you? But it was a, a disappointing result in the end. Yeah, disappointing result, but the performance was excellent. Um, we've been through the video today and the performance was as good as a Nantwich home one. The downside is we have give three soft goals away, but in terms of our attacking play, it was, it was brilliant. We probably should have got more goals from, from the evening. At 2-2, um, we, we had big chances to win the game of football. Unfortunately, we got hit at the end with that sucker punch. But looking at the whole picture, uh, we're going to win a lot more of them games than we're going to lose. So the lads will be shown all the positives this evening. And the defence especially, the negatives, because there were, there were soft goals that we've given away. And on the back of three goals against us on Saturday, it does need emphasising. So the lads will be shown it and hopefully we can get back to basics with um, the defensive side of the work because it's not, it hasn't been problems with the, the shape or um, set pieces, it's been just 1v1 duels which we've got to do better with so we'll show them and we'll do a little bit of work on it tonight and hopefully we can take them to Redcliffe on Saturday. I was going to say it's become a bit of a shock for you because they've been quite solid but then six goals as you say in the last two games, it's kind of come out of nowhere that hasn't it? Yeah, it is because we worked the previous two weeks on yeah. the defensive side of things, but this is football, sometimes it happens, and as long as we know the reasons behind it, and we do, and then it's showing the players the reasons behind it, so hopefully they'll look and understand and rectify the mistakes that have been going on the pitch. Now, you spoke after Ashton and said you, you want to stay in and around the top five. Have you got, kind of got that taste of being up near the top of the table, and as you said, the performances have encouraged you that we can stay up there as well? Yes, that's where we want to stay, that's the idea we'd like to, uh, we're realistic at the same time, yeah. so my, my primary aim is to get to 45 points, that's, I keep saying that and it comes a bit repetitive with it, but that is the primary aim and then once we get there we'll look at where we can go from there, I'm not too worried about uh, position at the moment, it is more um, getting the points on the board as quickly as possible. And in terms of player news, uh, any more movement there? Movement, Martin Wolf is still negotiating with Boston, so we will know uh, tomorrow where we stand with that. That's something that may run into next week. Um, other player news, three players in tonight we're taking a look at. Uh, one of them will be offered something, so it may be, off, it may be done before Saturday, if not then definitely by Tuesday. Uh, the other two we'll take a closer look at. And constant communication with loan players who um, there's opportunities but um, finances dictate on that one but we, we're ready to move if needs be. Finally Saturday, uh, what are you expecting Radcliffe? Uh, we've done all the homework on them, uh, we'll show the players tonight the points that we can hurt them, the points where we think they might may hurt us. Um, they've had a slow start but to be fair, and 